Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Divine Light and today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for this, this upcoming next seven days. This is going to be a weekly reading. Also I'm going to put a link up here and in the description box below. If you'd like a private reading from me, you can just go ahead and book your reading from there. And by the way, only 30% of you have been subscribed. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want, but it helps this message to get to the ones who really need to hear it as well. Okay, let's get into your reading and let's see what is coming your way. Okay, this is a very clean cup. It look, looks beautiful. I see an evil eye here though. And there is a cat or maybe a dog. Looks like a husky, like looking behind. And there's a person behind it. This can be someone loyal to you, actually, maybe going somewhere. Let's see, somewhere tra traveling somewhere. Okay, and then I see here there's actually um, a group of people coming. Um, this person is leaving, they're waving goodbye, and a group of people coming. And I see uh, there's another person here. They have a star on top of your, their head. This can be a family member. Now I'm thinking this can be a family member, and I see kind of like a goat now. It just switched. I see the goat's nose and the eyes here, and there's a lamb here. So this can be someone in your family, okay? It can be a Capricorn, and um, lamb is actually, we don't really have one um, when we look at the astrological sign. Lamb can be a sacrifice, okay? Maybe this can be someone that you have a relationship with, and you are sacrificing some time with them, so you can actually, they can, and you can get gain something in return. This kind of looks like a person and also looks like a um, magic, um, you know, magic lamp. And there's a star on top of it. Star means the Aquarius energy and it means wish fulfillment. Okay. And I also see now a male figure's face here. This can be something uh, required by maybe the government. They're just moving somewhere, maybe by work. Um, seems like this person is actually like going to uh, accomplish something. That's why they're leaving. They're not leaving permanently. And this can be also you leaving people behind and going somewhere. The evil eye, two of them, there's like an eye staring at you right away. This indicates that whatever this is, this is kind of like an upgrade in your life. And the move maybe is going to take a while, but this is the news coming forward initially. And that indicates some people are going to be very jealous about this is happening. I even see a key here at the end. Maybe you are buying a house or a home from somewhere and you are going to be actually upgrading to another place and a better place living situation. That's why maybe they're feeling a little jealousy here. Okay. I see someone upside down here. This kind of indicates like the Pisces energy, the hangman. So you might be having a revelation while this is going through. Uh, maybe like having an understanding who is the best friend and who's not, who's just acting like that. Um, maybe like uh, there's going to be like, a, you know, um, something is going to come to you and you're going to enlighten about that. I get enlightened. I see here a bull's head. A bull means, can be a Taurus, also means masculinity, taking action. But it's going to be, there's a horse's head here too. Like when you move there, this is like next following you know, five days of the week, four days of the week here. I don't think the movement is happening, but you're going to start packing up and um, going there. Okay, packing up, putting the stuff together, maybe preparing the paperwork. I see mountain can be mountain uh, place and also like phone lines forming. Maybe you're connecting with the people there already um getting like um i see another person upset here like you're leaving some things behind for sure i feel like this is physical but if it's not this can also be a mental thing maybe there are things that you have been taking for too long now you're saying no to that you're drawing boundaries i see some tears of joy right here popped out of your cup so this is going to be very um you know very fruitful for you something that's going to make you really happy maybe something you have been imagining to have for a long time in the middle of the week there's a chunk of money showing up here coming unexpectedly and let's get into the plate now if you have a question and desire and intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be for that one okay like you don't want to let go of some things maybe this is like a time that like if you're moving maybe you have too much furniture you don't want to let them go but i see also another tears of joy here somebody's outside very light energy coming to help you also like some chunks of money 
folding into your heart space your desire coming forward really fast and there's a second desire coming afterwards and that's going to be also manifesting like um rather quickly there's a good news here towards um maybe four fourth and the fifth day of the week good news coming forward also i see a letter v this also kind of looks like angel wings so maybe you're getting some angelic help and i see someone actually put their hands together and praying this can be someone it looks like a male figure but doesn't have to be it can be like a masculine um, like old school feminine female mother grandmother also like praying for you and um, their prayer is actually working out i see someone's face right here you can see a feminine character right there um like their prayer are actually opening up the path maybe you are like in like a stressful environment now you're trying to make things happen and the prayers are working and that cloudy dark clouds are actually leaving your heart space okay let's get into the cards now let's see what your cards are telling us what is the energy of the week for the collective what is the energy of the week for the collective what do they need to know coming their way please okay lover's card whatever this is this is going to be something that you would love fall in love with and it's going to be like a perfect match for you at the moment can be literal love okay this is gemini energy soulmate energy or also this can be um a perfect love a perfect health uh, somewhere that i cannot make this up nine of cups here that will actually satisfy you in all areas of your life maybe finding the perfect partner is going to also affect your energy at work that is going to bring you the promotion that you've been needing or maybe finding the perfect real estate broker or when you're looking for a house that finding the perfect space that you want to live okay and nine of cups means all the wishes are fulfilled and we have the king of wands here king of wands can be someone aries or sagittarius uh, this can be also your energy as well there's going to be a lot of action taking, a lot of action coming forward because King of Wands tend to be the fire and he doesn't stop when he actually puts something in his mind. He takes um, action towards it. And this can be someone that specific person, maybe you're manifesting or a specific situation you wanted. And um, this is you. You're going to be able to uh, create this in your life. Okay. You're going to get gather your strength and create this. We have your higher self. Your higher self in, indicates that you're going to get some divine help for sure. These are all fall out of the deck. So I'm going to show them to you. Your higher self indicates that you're going to get some good support. Okay. This support might be coming from uh, like um, internal intuitively. You're going to be starting to hear things or can also be um, like people in your life actually guiding you towards something. Maybe while you're looking for advice, someone um, wise is actually going to share some advice that will guide you to the right path that you want to be. And we also have deserving coming forward. Deserving indicates that consciousness with the nine of cups it's aligning here and the higher self can be the lovers like if you're meeting someone or if you're finding a job uh, opportunity or a new house this is actually your higher self guiding you to that loving place okay nine of cups with the deserving nine of cups indicates wish fulfillment all your desires money home love education if that's what you're desiring um everything that comes to mind that is inside of the nine of cups okay and uh, the deserving feeling, I feel like this is actually going to connect together. Uh, either you're going to have the thing and then you're going to feel the deserving or vice versa. When you start to feel that I am worthy of that place, I'm worthy of that person, of that job, I can do it better than anyone. And when you feel that deeply, you're going to be actually getting it. Okay. When it comes to King of Wands, we have increase here. King of Wands actually indicates that this can be someone coming forward into your life and maybe giving you uh, the um, opportunity of increase. Can be uh, maybe if you're waiting for a promotion, this can be the person providing that, or you are actually cultivating this fire energy and. Um, maybe just creative ideas you have you have been holding on to you're starting to plan it out and starting to put it into work okay i see here the increase increase indicates that when you do that when you follow the path that highest energy this uh inspirations coming forward even though 
you don't follow all of them, you're writing them down and putting a note of them because all the ideas, all the creative things that actually is given to us. Um, so when you start to keep them down, they're actually going to start to create an increase in your life, even though you don't take action towards it. Okay, just noting it down is a way to start the fire. Okay. All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.